Hey, hello, good morning, dear Swift learners. How are you all? So I hope you all are safe and sound at your homes. And I, Ritika, am back with a new news session. On okay, I'll be telling you afterwards that what are we going to study today? But we will have a quick tour around Swift Learn at the first. So Swift Learn, it is India's most sincere learning destination, wherein we provide the classes for grade first to grade tenth. Okay, so it is sincere because over here you will get 100% live interactive classes. That is, you will be connecting with your teachers through audio and your video calls, and you will be taking in your lessons. Then we have personalized attention badge. That is, your teachers will be paying great attention to you, and in every badge there will be maximum to maximum six students, not more, so that you can have your attention. Then we also have an academic mentor team apart from the teachers which will always be there for you and which will be guiding you which will tr be tracking your progress. Plus we cover the syllabus as per your school exam schedule so that you can perform well in your schools also. Apart from these we are having some of the special features which makes Swiftlearn all the more special. So first one is detailed progress report which contains your report of the homework of the test you are attempting of your position in your school of your attendance etc so it contains all, almost everything then we have swiftland academic test series wherein you will be competing with the students of your grade of your age you will be seeing your position and you can work accordingly Apart from this, we have unlimited practice tests which are available on the Swiftlearn portal, uh, which also has subjective test. Okay, so that you can practice answer writing, and uh, all you need to do is just go to a Play Store, uh, download the Swiftlearn app, and you can take your unlimited test. So just go to Swiftlearn app and book your free trial class, and I am very sure you are going to love your class. All right. So now. Uh, please subscribe to the channel of the Swift Learn and press the bell icon so that you do not miss out on any update. And like, press on like button if you like the video. So we were completing the digestive system. We have started and we have completed two sessions already. And if you have missed out on any session, you can just go to the Swift Learn channel. All the videos are listed over there. So we are going to start the third session of human digestive system. in which we are going to cover about stomach small intestine and the large intestine okay so before starting let us recall whatever we have studied till now so if i talk about the another name of food pipe we studied that food pipe it is also known as esophagus okay so our food pipe it is also named as esophagus to talking about second question largest gland in our body it is liver and third question ask list the type of teeth so we have four type of teeth in which we have incisors then we have canines then we have molars and at the last we have premolars so these are the four type of teeth that we have okay now esophagus it is the uh, you know the food pipe it is the long tube like structure which connects our pharynx to the stomach okay so this is esophagus is a tubical structure over here and it connects the pharynx with the stomach now talking about stomach what exactly stomach is so stomach it is a thick walled with a um, bag shaped structure okay its shape is like a flattened u and it covers the wide part of alimentary canal okay so it is a thick walled bag shaped structure which has a shape of flattened u and it uh, forms the widest part of alimentary canal okay so if i talk about the stomach it has these inner linings and these inner linings of the stomach they secrete various fluids which are mucus hydrochloric acid and the digestive juices okay so if i talk about mucus um it protects the lining of the stomach from damage to mucus ka jo work hota hai it is to protect the lining in the lining of the stomach then we have hydrochloric acid which functions uh, actually which provides acidic medium in our stomach and which further helps to kill the bacteria to jo acid hota hai hamare stomach mein which is hydrochloric acid it, that is used to kill the bacteria and provide the acidic medium to our stomach and then we have digestive juices 
whose function is to break down the protein into simpler substances. तो जो proteins होते हैं उनको simpler substances में break down करना जिससे कि you know they are easily absorbed. This is the main function of digestive juices. Okay. Now talking about the enzymes of digestive juices. So mainly we have two type of enzymes, pepsin and renin. ओके okay, तो ये जो दो टाइप के हमारे पास एंजाइम्स होते हैं दे हैव देयर ओन फंक्शंस इफ आई टॉक अबाउट पेप्सिन इट इज यूज्ड टू कन्वर्ट दिस लार्ज प्रोटीन मॉलिक्यूल्स इनटू स्मॉलर मॉलिक्यूल्स एंड दिस स्मॉलर मॉलिक्यूल्स आर नोन एज पेप्टोन्स एंड प्रोटियोसिस तो जो पेप्सिन होता है उसका बेसिक फंक्शन होता है टू कन्वर्ट द लार्ज प्रोटीन मॉलिक्यूल इनटू स्मॉलर मॉलिक्यूल्स व्हिच आर पेप्टोन्स एंड प्रोटियोसिस एंड टॉकिंग अबाउट रेनिन What is the function of renin? It converts the milk protein, which is known as casein, into para casein. Okay, so milk me jo protein hota hai, which is named as casein, it is converting it into para casein, which is actually an insoluble curd. Okay, now there is an interesting story. Like uh, how does the stomach work? It was discovered by a strange accident. and it was discovered by an american army doctor william beaumont okay so he found that a stomach was churning the food and the stomach's wall they were secreting a fluid which was helping to digest the food okay so these linings they were secreting kind of fluid which was further helping to digest the food okay now small intestine so small intestine as i already told you in the last class also it is not at all small it is very big and it is as big as 6.5 meter so small intestine it is highly coiled so it is uh, you know it is in our body in a coiled kind of structure you can see it it is highly coiled and its total length is about 6.5 meter now it receives the secretion from liver and pancreas and the wall of uh, small intestine they also secrete various juices तो लिवर और पैंथ्रियाज जो है द सीक्रेट वेरियस जूसेज इन टू स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन प्लस दीज वॉल्स ऑफ स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन दे ऑल्सो सीक्रेट वेरियस टाइप ऑफ जूसेज ओके टॉकिंग अबाउट लिवर सो लिवर बिकम्स द लार्जेस्ट ग्लैंड इन आर बॉडी विच इज अ बिट रेडिश ब्राउन कलर ओके इट इज रेडिश ब्राउन इन कलर एंड इट इज सिचुएटेड इन द टॉप पार्ट ऑफ एबडोम ऑन द राइट साइड ओके सो हमारे एबडोमिन के राइट साइड में ऑन द टॉप इट इज सिचुएटेड एंड इट इज द लार्जेस्ट ग्लैंड एंड व्हाट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ द लिवर द लिवर सीक्रेट्स द बाइल जूस ओके सो बाइल जूस सीक्रेट करता है व्हिच इज फर्दर स्टोर्ड इन अ सैक सैक लाइक स्ट्रक्चर एक स्टोरेज स्ट्रक्चर होता है दैट इज नोन एज गोल ब्लैडर ओके सो द बाइल जूस इट इज स्टोर्ड इन गोल ब्लैडर एंड इट इज सीक्रेटेड बाय द लिवर and what is the function of bile juice it helps to break down the fat okay to jo bhi hum food intake karte hain usme jo bhi fats hota hai fat molecules hote hain it is actually broken down with the help of bile juice and they are broken down into tiny droplets now pancreas so pancreas is a large cream colored gland just located below stomach so this is a pancreas it is cream colored structure okay and it is located below the stomach okay now pancreas secret various juices and the pancreatic juices they act on carbohydrates fats and proteins to so carbohydrates fats or proteins ko uh, जो पैंक्रेटिक जूसेज है दे एक्ट ऑन दैम एंड दे अगैन चेंज दैम इन टू सिंपलर फॉर्म सो दैट दे कैन बी डाइजेस्टेड इजीली ओके सो द कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स दे गेट ब्रोकन इन टू सिंपल शुगर सच एज ग्लूकोज फैट्स आर कन्वर्टेड टू फैटी एसिड्स एंड ग्लेसरोल एंड प्रोटीन्स दे आर कन्वर्टेड इन टू एमिनो एसिड्स सो दिस इज द यूज ऑफ पैंक्रियाटिक जूस नाउ If I talk about small intestine, so the digestion take uh, of the food it takes place in three main parts. Okay, so first part is duodenum, then we have jejunum, and then we have ileum. Okay, so these are the three parts in which the digestion takes place completely in our small intestine. Now, duodenum. Uh, what happens over here is digestive juices they mix with the food and various enzymes start acting upon it okay and we have two main type of enzymes okay in pancreatic juices trypsin and lipase what is the function of trypsin it converts the protein into amino acid to so protein ko jo amino acid mein convert karne ka work hai it is done by trypsin 
and if i talk about lipase enzyme it converts the fat into fatty acid and glycerol all right now in jejunum what happens the food from the duodenum it is passed into ileum okay so jejunum is just the passing uh, passage then in ileum what happens there are various enzymes which further act upon the food which is erypsin maltase and sucrase okay so what is the function of erypsin it converts the peptones and peptides into amino acids तो जो पेप्टोन्स और पेप्टाइड्स होते हैं दे आर कन्वर्टेड बाय एरिप्सिन इनटू अमीनो एसिड्स नाउ माल्टेस इट कन्वर्ट्स शुगर इनटू माल्टो माल्टोस एंड ग्लूकोस एंड फर्दर सुक्रेज इट इज फंक्शनिंग टू कन्वर्ट द सुक्रोज इनटू ग्लूकोस एंड फ्रक्टोस सो दीज आर जस्ट डिवाइडिंग इनटू सिंपलर सब्सटेंसेस what are complex substances uh, what complex substances are broken down and in which substances are they broken so carbohydrate so whatever food we intake usme jo bhi carbohydrates hota hai that is broken down into simple sugar okay that is glucose if i talk about fat so fats are broken down into fatty acid or glycerol and proteins are broken down into amino acids so these are the complex things which are converted into simpler things which can be digested very easily now talking about small intestine so how does our uh, absorption occurs in small intestine so the food which is digested okay it can pass in blood vessels in the wall of intestine and this process it is known as absorption अब क्या होता है इन आर स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन देर आर यू नो द इनर वॉल्स ऑफ स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन दे हैव दीज फिंगर लाइक प्रोजेक्शंस ओके एंड दीज आर नोन एज वाइलाइक ओके सो दीज फिंगर लाइक आउट ग्रोथ दे इंक्रीज द सरफेस एरिया ऑफ एब्जॉर्बन ऑफ द डाइजेस्टेड फूड ओके सो द मेन फंक्शन ऑफ वाइलाइक इज टू इंक्रीज द सरफेस एरिया फॉर एब्जॉर्बन ऑफ द डाइजेस्टेड फूड ओके सो नाउ डाइजेस्टन हो गया now comes into the picture the large intestine so it is actually a bit wider and shorter in length than small intestine okay its length is just about 1.5 meter and what is its function its function is to absorb the water and some of the salts from undigested food material so it has this undigested food material and what happens waste from large intestine passes into the rectum and remain there as semi solid phases तो जो भी हमारा अनडाइजेस्टेड फूड होता है ओके इट पासिस फ्रॉम लार्ज इंटेस्टाइन टू द रेक्टम एंड इट रिमेन्स देयर एज सेमी सॉलिड फेसेस ओके एंड दैट सेमी सॉलिड फेसेस इट इज रिमूव फ्रॉम टाइम टू टाइम थ्रू एनस एंड दिस प्रोसेस ऑफ टेकिंग आउट द वेस्ट मटेरियल इट इज नोन एज एजिशन नाउ एसिमुलेशन सो एसिमुलेशन मीन्स दैट वट एवर फूड वी हैव यूटिलाइज ओके whatever uh, the food we have eaten we have absorbed uh, how are we utilizing it for the generation of energy growth and repair that process is known as assimilation the basically assimilation ka meaning hota hai jo bhi food humne intake kiya hai usko use karna for our growth energy and repair okay now let us answer some of the questions to see what have we learned the pancreatic juices are secreted in duodenum part of small intestine that is very very true next gastric juices they are rich in hydrochloric acid yes they are rich in hydrochloric acid and it provides acidic medium and kills the bacteria assimilation what is meant by assimilation uh, whatever food we are using the utilization of that food for growth energy and repair it is known as assimilation and how many pair of salivary glands are present in the mouth so basically we have three pair of salivary glands which are present in our mouth in which we have parotid then we have sublingual and then we have submandibular so these are the three pair of salivary glands which are present in our mouth okay now which part of digestive canal is involved in first absorption of food so absorption of food takes place in small intestine chewing of food takes place in mouth that is buccal cavity killing of bacteria it occurs in stomach by the help of hydrochloric acid complete digestion of food it occurs in small intestine again and formation of phases it occurs in the large intestine now 
some of the fun facts the stomach has the ability to stretch and hold up to four pounds of food at one time so that is a very very large quantity and your liver is bigger than your brain so liver is the largest gland also and it is very big and it is even bigger than our brain and it consists of 96 percent of water okay so what is the role of hcl in stomach hcl it provides acidic medium which further helps to kill the bacteria in our stomach all right let's play an activity to see what we have learned okay yeah so bile it is produced in the liver okay and it secretes bile juice then which enzyme converts peptones into amino acid so it is erypsin so erypsin is the con uh, enzyme which converts the peptones into amino acids and the inner walls of small intestine they have this finger like outgrowths or structures which makes the uh, absorption easy it is known as villi okay so we have covered the various things such as stomach the small intestine and the large intestine and i hope you might have understood everything that we have covered and if you have missed out on any video you can just go to swiftlearn's channel to see to revise and you can also book your free trial class so we will be meeting in the next class with a next a new session till then keep revising keep learning thank you very much